right, welcome to this week's Motivational Monday. I wanted to share with you guys uh, a rant that I just did in the community. Now, what does that mean? Every Monday, myself or Steve Mernick or Rick Abiati or Brian O'Neill or Mike McCready's or Rusty, these are all our certified coaches who are either high six or chairman. They've been through the ranks, they've done deals, they've helped students do deals, they're, they're in it to win. Every Monday, one of us puts what we call a Monday rant in the community. And it's always something that's on our brain that is either what the heck is going on in the community or this is something that needs to be worked on or hey, we see this happen, this is really positive, why don't you guys all do this? It's something that hits us. And we used to do them weekly no matter what, but now we just make sure, hey, does one of us have something that's burning that we want to get out? That's all. And, and there's usually something between the five or six of us. Now, this particular week, the one you're going to see, here we are in October. I hope you're seeing this in October. And if you're not, November's fine too. But it's super important you dial into what the heck you're going to do in 24. I'm going to use a bunch of kind of internal Wicked Smart community vernacular in this in the video because it went to our Slack community where they all live, where they all communicate. So if there's anything in here that you go, what was he talking about that's interesting? Or what was he talking about? I'd like to get a call together. Schedule a, a call with one of us. Just go to smartrealestatecoach.com forward slash action. But if nothing else, pull out of it what we're doing in the community. And I hope someday you're in the community. Uh, it's by application only, but enjoy the video. And I hope to see you at one of the next upcoming events. We are running our virtual event this year, as we do every year, for year end to get you set up and poised, very appropriate for this video, for 24. And it's called the Wicked Smart Kickstart. It's going to kickstart your 24. You all should be registered for that. Um, I don't even think the link's been out yet, but keep an eye out. It'll be December 8th, okay? Make it a great week. Enjoy the video, which is this week's rant. Hey guys, Monday rant. We are sitting at October 16th, and at our office visit last week with Kyle, Kenny, and uh, Jacqueline, it came to light that, hey, Zach said, hey, does everybody, is everybody on the coaching calls doing their business plans? And what I remembered is every October, right around Columbus Day, I would take that day in the office, tally all my hand slashes with all the calls I did and all the metrics, tally all the monthlies, which assumes you kept all the weeklies, tally all the monthlies, get my metrics, and then say, okay, given these metrics, what are my metrics for next year? In this case, 2024, right? So for me, some of you guys have a little bit more elaborate explanations, etc. There's some great examples if you're high six, if you scroll through the high six channel, there's some great examples. If you're not high six, just ask your coach, who is a high six or higher for a sample business plan, okay? For me, what worked all these years was more metrics. So I'd look at the metrics for what I did, and then I'd go to 24 and I'd say, and I'd get excited about, okay, how many takens, therefore how many solds using about 72% because I did a lot of AOs, and then therefore how much does that create in income? That's what would get me excited. And then underneath that, I would say, okay, to get those done, what are some things I have to do to move that needle what are some things I have to do to make those numbers, those metrics, my goals work? Well, I'm weak on this. Okay, well, in quarter one, I might want to study scripts. What, whatever it is for you, there's a plan you have, and then there's some roadblocks that you know are in the way, or you would have already achieved it, right, presumably? So I encourage you all, we're going to talk about it this week in the coaching calls, but I encourage you all to get something started on paper. It doesn't have to be elaborate. It doesn't have to be this massive corporate business plan. It just needs to be what the heck are you focusing on for 24? Because we're at mid-October yesterday. And anything you do this year, you might luck out, get it taken in October and get it sold in November. Uh, some of ours are five days, 10 days, not three months. So you might. But plan on from now till December 31st, you sprint it out, you're setting up 24 really. So what is the goal for 24? What are the goals for 24? What are the metrics to support that? And by the way, when you talk about metrics, if you're brand new, you're going to borrow our metrics. They're in QLS, home study. But even if you're borrowing ours or doing your own, what's the deal with how you plan your, your time off? All you have to do, don't, don't go for the year metrics and then divide it by 52 weeks. You're not working 52 weeks, guys. Um, sadly, you might get a cold or get sick. You got holidays. You got kids that might get sick. You got to realistically say out of 52 weeks or out of 365 days, however you want to finish it, how many days am I working? How many weeks am I working? I used to do like 44 to 46. So you take the total metrics for the year that you know would accomplish your goals, do this with your coach if you're not clear, and you divide it by 44 weeks. And then how many days are you working? I used to work four as far as prospecting. I didn't do the fifth. I only do the fifth if I didn't hit my goals for the four. 
So if you're working, you're going to divide your metrics by 44. And then for how many days you're going to work, you might divide those by, you know, the five days a week or four days a week, six days a week, three days a week, whatever you're doing to pick up the phone to make those metrics work, work that in. That ensures you that when you're with your kids or with your spouse or with your significant other or with your family or with your friends, you're not bumming out thinking you got to be back at the office or back at your desk or making phone calls or guilting yourself because you didn't make fun. None of that. Get the year number divided by the weeks that you're working, divided by the days that you're working per week, and let's get after it. Give that to your coach. Now, guys, what about that sounds confusing besides how fast I went? Come on. It's that predictable. But then the key thing is you've got to, got to, got to be open, be vulnerable to let your coach hold you accountable to those numbers. Like really hold you accountable because sometimes I'll get a, a, a goal from someone and then I, five days in I'll go, they didn't do it. Like what the heck? Or they didn't do that workout goal or they didn't go to the naturopath and they said they were going to whatever it is in, at the higher level of the champions in high six. But for you, whatever the roadblock is. And if you don't, you need to say to your coach, hold me accountable. Tell me I screwed up because here's my goal for the year and here's why I want to get there. And it's important to me and it's important to my family. Hold me accountable. All right. Okay. So with that, let's get after the business plans. So for the reply on this one, please write a date by which you'll have your draft done of your metrics slash business plan. I use business plan very loosely, just your plan for 24. Okay. Your business, your, your, your outlook for 24. I will have my plan or my goals or whatever you want to call it to get you excited. First draft completed by and put a date in there and tag your coach. Okay. Make it a great week guys. We'll see you in the calls.